So did we survive? Did we get through back to school time? That is done and now it's time to look forward to the next couple of months of holidays in Dollar Tree, already starting with the Halloween stuff. So I'm gonna do a little shop with me at Dollar Tree and a haul and announce our giveaway winner. Hey, hey you guys, it's Christina from the Purple Alphabet and lo and behold, Back to school ended and here we are getting ready for all of the upcoming holidays. Dollar Tree of course is already decked out full of Halloween things. A lot of things I think were pretty similar to last year and if you've already been you'll have to let me know down below if you kind of experienced the same thing. There were a few things that were new and I wanted to show you which is why I'm going to do a shop with me and I'm also going to show you a haul because I'm getting ready for all of those Halloween activities I do with my kids. But before we get into that we got to do a giveaway winner announcement. Last week Learning Resources sent me a huge box of things to show you guys and they sponsored a giveaway so if you see your name here on the screen you have won your pick of one of those items in that video and there was a lot to choose from so make sure you check your email box because I sent you an email you have 72 hours to claim your prize from the time I sent that email a couple of you found the secret bonus entry. So in my giveaways, I give you a whole bunch of different ways to enter to score some extra entries. And one of those was on my Instagram story feed. I left you a code there and I told you it was a code for this particular giveaway and a lot of you found it and a lot of you entered that code. So I'm so happy. Thank you so much for following me over on Instagram. Just know that I put secret little clues here and there all over and I also provide a whole bunch of different ways for you to enter my giveaways, but you should definitely go follow me on Instagram so that you don't miss the next one if I post it there. Just a little hint. So let's go shopping. So I went to the big store today to show you everything I could possibly find. Tons of stuff. Last year I bought these ice cube trays and used them for some great fine motor exercises. Highly recommend them if you didn't get them last year, but they're also great for ice cubes. And speaking of fine motor, these would be really great in a sensory bin or even using these hand skeleton tongs to pick them up and put them into a bowl. Great motor activity. Even these inflatable characters would be really great for some games around the Halloween time where you can throw them up in the air, bounce them around, get some really great exercise with. All right, these I think are new. I didn't see these last year. Little paint sets that come with an easel and a little paint kit with a brush and new designs. I think I saw a total of four different ones. A really great group activity or something fun to do on a weekend when you need a quick minute. These are also new monster masks that come with a couple different masks and the markers and the stickers to decorate them. I also found this princess one too. These were around last year, although I do think the Frankenstein one might be new this year, not 100% sure. Just check to make sure yours aren't broken. These foam sheets are always at the Dollar Tree for every holiday, so they're back again. Plus there's these new foam craft kits that come several to one kit. So this is great for a classroom. Each kit has six and there's several different designs to choose from. From. I'm kind of thinking this one is really cute and so you can put these together for a party or even for a classroom and even the smaller foam shapes this year too bats and pumpkins are what my store had if you want colored googly eyes now is the time you can use them for monsters but throughout the year you could also use them and also the gemstones which are really fun to decorate all of your things these were new to me too felt stickers these look super super nice you could pay a couple dollars per package for these at the craft store great find here if you're looking for things to give out for parties or for trick-or-treaters, tons and tons of options as they always have. I'm gonna show you what I bought in my haul. And then decor was really, really good this year. I don't decorate, but maybe I would if I had this spider. So if you're into decorations, the quality is super, super nice this year. There were tons of things that I did recognize from last year, especially the skeleton that glows in the dark. I did a whole video about what things you could do for activities with your kids about this. You could even use this paper one too. So keep that in mind and go watch that video for some inspiration. The costumes this year, you guys, oh my goodness. They totally beefed this up. Last year was nothing like this, especially with the wings for all of the little animals, the bumblebee and the ladybug. Lots of different options to choose from for both boys and girls, depending on what they like. Last year I ended up picking up these ninja turtle shells and we just used them to pretend to be turtles. My kids don't even like ninja turtles, but they they thought they were turtles, super, super cute. You got things for pirates and tons of hats to pick from, lots of options and you can come up with a really affordable costume for just a couple of dollars. I even like these dinosaur heads, they're back because they're so cute, they just go right on top of your head like a hat. If you're into decorating pumpkins, tons of pumpkin decorating kits. And what's great about these is that it's quick, it's fast, it's easy, and you can reuse them for next year. So some of the same designs that I saw last year are here, plus a couple others that are new. Then they had these that are a little bit nicer, 
and they have um, different kind of 3D material on them, so look for those as well. I love the mummy one, they had that one last year. And then I found these sticker kits, so if you want to do stickers, you can decorate a pumpkin with stickers. But you can also use the stickers on regular paper, so if you want a quick thing to do, think about that too. There were several designs that I don't think they had last year, so lots of fun things there. Thanksgiving and fall decor, lots of fun things. I don't really decorate seasonally, but man, it was really, really tempting. There was lots of cute stuff. I mean, look at these pumpkins. This one looks like a burlap pumpkin. It looks so expensive. Like you could have bought it at a more expensive store. I love that. These little candle holders are so pretty how the candlelight will glow right through the iridescent part. And they even have these really cool trays that match all of the fall colored themes. They would be awesome for a Thanksgiving party. So these craft kits were around last year. We tried the turkey and one other, the cornucopia I think, but I did find a new one which is this one right here. Really, really cute. These crafts take about five to 10 minutes at most and are perfect to do right before dinner. I thought these were really cute too. Lots of fun scarecrow decorations that you can either put into the ground or on a table. These pumpkins were so pretty. These really, really look expensive. And then just around the corner, I couldn't believe it you guys, but really a whole end cap full of Christmas stuff already here. So you're definitely gonna wanna think ahead and purchase now because these things go quickly. Okay, so I didn't get a lot in the costume world because we pretty much have everything we could possibly need for costumes and dress up, but I did get two of the hero capes. Last year they did not have these in pink, and so what they are, can't tell, it's all folded here. It's one of those capes that can go on like a superhero cape. We have the red and blue one from last year and they use them all the time in my house, so I wanted to get some pink ones for my girls so they can have some options because they didn't have this before, so I'm so happy to see that they had the pink. Um, this material isn't the best, but for the purposes, trust me, these are great. The kids love the superhero capes. I have one of the Halloween Color Your Own Princess Tiara kits. This is for ages four and up, it says, but inside there's several different crowns. I think there's, let's see, what does it say here? Four markers and 80 stickers. And how many crowns do you get? One set. No, but there's two. There's two in there. Looks like you get two different tiaras, as it says, with the four markers and stickers to decorate, and then some ideas on how to decorate them on the back. So this is a new find, and definitely did not see this last year, and there's a whole bunch of different ones, as you saw in the shop with me. I usually get a whole bunch of treat kind of things for my children's classrooms, because they do Halloween parties and treat bags. So these are notepads. I have two in the pumpkin style, and then I got two of the candy corn, and there are eight pieces in each pack. It. And then some of these little googly eyes that you put on your finger as a ring. These also really make great Halloween surprises instead of candy. If you're one of those people who doesn't like to give out candy on Halloween, might want to consider things like this because they come so many to a pack and it's just a nice different thing to get in a Halloween treat pack. And kind of along the same lines as the rings are these tops and spinners. Um, they have little designs on each one of them. So there's eight pieces in the pack here too. And these are also fun to do. Um, um, at home and great for your finger coordination. So pencil grasp and things like that, how to spin that top. Now, 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 now is the time to stock up on the colored googly eyes. So this time of year is the only time that you really can find these and they're different colored googly eyes. Normally Dollar Tree has the plain black and white ones, which they have right now too. So best price I've ever seen on googly eyes, but good to have to stock up on different projects. So these are great for Halloween, but also good because they're different colored eyes and you can use those on different things later so get these if you see them I haven't bought any give out candy yet this year but I did I do like Halloween because they have um, these little packets of candy you can probably get a better deal at other stores maybe I'm not sure let me know if you find really good deals on Halloween candy but we put these in kind of like a little um, bucket to have as uh, treats and snacks throughout the the week so I have Smarties and I have the lifesavers moving on to Thanksgiving yeah I'm already thinking about Thanksgiving um, I love this magnet set there are different magnets in here and they create a turkey so I thought it might be fun to have and just to create the turkey and such and it's really pretty and colorful we have a magnetic board that this goes on we also have magnets that go along with other holidays like Christmas Christmas, and so this will add to it. And then I did end up getting a couple of the foam kits. I picked the little um, chipmunk here, or squirrel, I guess it is, with the the different flowers that he's holding. We did the um, the turkey last year, and I think we also did 
the cornucopia and so I wanted to mix it up for this year. These are fun Thanksgiving Day projects. If you wanted to have something for the kids to do on Thanksgiving Day, we really enjoy doing this or you can do them earlier and display them as decor in your house. But for a dollar, this is a really, really good deal. I will say, however, the glitter on these does come off and so just be aware that you might have some glitter mess to clean up, but they are fun, maybe five to 10 minute activity to do. And now time for my non-holiday things going on right now. So the um, calendars are coming out for next year. This is a small pocket one. It's like the size of a checkbook and they had all kinds of different designs on them. Um, kitty cats and dogs. I get these because my child likes to mark off each one of the days. She just loves it. So I got the butterfly one. And then this is a Dollar Tree toy that I've been kind of looking at for a while and wanted to put this in my Dollar Tree toy test to see if it works. So they come in different kinds of like um, superheroes and princesses. And this one is the Finding Dory. And then I did find some ice cream cones. I see people haul the ice cream cones all the time and I've never found them. So I found them and we're gonna have some on hand now. So I think I'm pretty much set for all of the Halloween activities coming up and a little bit of Thanksgiving too. Pretty impressed with some of the decor items and things that are out there right now. Really good deals on those bargains. Let me know down below what you have found and what your favorite items are right now in Dollar Tree. Make sure to click subscribe to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up to show your love.